M0 FXB Hamtech. So we've been tinkering around, as you know, with the Quan Cheng dock and this cable. And really, everything that Nick Shaw has provided is actually, is correct regarding the wiring of the cable. But it's just, you know, it's you can get a bit, you know, mixed up, and that's 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 understandable. So let me just show you at the moment where you can see it's there connected. I'm going to quickly just do a test audio one. M0 FXB test and you can see it go it goes into test and we can hear the speaker coming from the the, the speaker microphone which is a a budget speak a budget speaker microphone and I'll show it closer but you've got a cable coming out from the top basically the top 2.5 jack that goes inside the radio there has been spliced it does join in part to the USB cable and the microphone twin pins and just to make it obvious, this one is the USB one, okay? And then, so at least you know that. So 3.5 splitter, so it goes in there, 3.5. Two cables come out. One of them goes down and joins the 3.5 jack here. The other one comes out and joins the 3.5 jack here. So this, when I say here, Going back to the USB, this is the microphone. That's actually the easiest bit once you've done that. Then you've got another splitter, which is 2.5. One of those cables, you don't have to split and it goes to the USB connection. Nice and easy. So in the end, there's only one cable you actually have to split and create your 3.5 tail, let's call it, that's going to go to your PC, but you can plug that same connector into a Bluetooth sender or into a speaker. Well, I found that I could and it worked, but um, you know, maybe not. Try that one out. I think the advice is that you can't. One mistake not to make is to look at the colors. You, you definitely need to test wh which is the audio. The way you do that is you put a tester on the tip and then you go down to the cables and the tip will be where the audio uh, is traveling. Turn that down, working well. You don't have to cut the one that is sending the data, okay? And you'll know which is which, because as you're testing, yeah, you'll know the audio, and then you'll know if you touch the outer sleeve here, you'll be able to work out which is the ground and the outer braid. So on my tail that I've got, which is just going to a 3.5 jack that's gonna plug into my PC, the cables that were carrying the audio, it's messy. Right, it's quite hard to see them. We're actually red and white, so I know that's the audio. So you join them together. Then obviously isolate, you know, work out, that's my earth, okay? That one there f to the 3.5. This is, I know it looks messy, but this is just the cable cut. Once you've worked out the audio from the 2.5 from the radio, you then have to add this in line before it before the audio reaches your tail your 3.5 tail you need the live audio to go via the 47k resistor you don't touch the other cable which is your data but there's another really crucial part the live audio used to travel this is really important up here along the white wire and then out here you have to cut the white wire, that's crucial. I will show you the diagram at the end. Um, once you've done that, then it's just a matter of connecting as per the diagram, and I'll show you that now. And big thanks to Nick Shaw for doing this diagram. So remember, 2.5 here, long, that's the only cable that you actually cut, and inside that, you only actually cut one cable. The the wire that's carrying the data, you don't need to cut. The wire that's ground, well, you don't have to cut it, it's just there, isn't it? And then you go off with your tail and it plugs into the microphone and that'll be, I would say, that the top one, when it's that way around, is the, is the 2.5 pin out. And then look, the next one down, 3.5 jack here, going along and it's connecting. Now this is the cable you don't have to cut to your 3.5. 
job done nice and easy. 3.5 goes here, but the, the thing that is different, it, again, it, get, it still goes to the 3.5, but it's going to the USB cable. And then, so once you start to piece this together, then the 2.5 one here is going up. So one, that's one of the 2.5 splitters that you purchase does not need to be cut. You're only actually cutting one cable. And you, that'll be demonstrated here. You can say, no, it says here, not connected. Okay, and I'll show you the picture. There's the case. So have a good look here. Read Nick's instructions. It's all there. Ooh. And then scrolling up to actually see it. Now, again, like I said, forget the colors. Tip, yeah, the tip is your audio. Your audio is going along the tip. And he's written it here, blue, audio. Okay. Audio is going along here down the blue. You've joined the two wires together, carrying the audio, which will go to the tip here. Okay, but they have to go via resistor, otherwise it's not gonna work. So you, then you can just, the braid or the earth, you'll, you can connect to the, you know, you don't even have to splice it, just join it to the earth. And look, the red one, and yours may be a different color, because on mine it was like green, carrying the data, you never cut that, you don't need to. And that's it. So once you've got that all connected, this all connected, you'll know when it's working. And I'll try and show you mine working again, you know, because you'll get audio coming from the microphone. You'll get line in detected on your PC. You'll be able to push the PTT and the radio will go in to transmit. You won't get any weird sounds. And also when you do connect everything up and you connect the Cushang, the Cushang Doc software, it will just come to life instantly without you having to do anything because it's an instant connection. So there you are, it's working now. I've got PTT. Let's see if we get an audio check. Get some light here. We'll give a call out here on uh, Hubnet. M0FXB calling for an audio check. And I did notice that the it did go red. Actually, we're on the wrong channel for Hubnet. Let's go to Hubnet. So we're changing channel. I'll, as I change channel on the radio, watch. But uh, yeah, thanks, Mikey, and uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Just the budget, Mike. Now I'm going to PTT, and you watch it go red, top left. The radio goes red. The computer says TX. I think we're end on a high. It's connected. It's working. Give it a go. Bye for now. 7-3.